This week we're going to show you the non-glamorous side of farming. Welcome to Greenshine Farmer's video blog about a family starting a farm and going back to the homestead lifestyle. Hey guys, welcome to Greenshine Farmers. This week we're going to be talking about just all the stuff we've been doing. Uh, we're gearing up for a big spring, so it's going to be a lot of just random clips from around the farm. We're going to talk about some of the chores that we have to do on a weekly and even daily basis, um, and just random things that come up, things that you just have to deal with when you run your own farm. So, hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. Morning chore. We have to come down here and feed the rabbits and let the chickens out of the coop and feed the chickens. All right, we got our compost and our feed. We're gonna let these guys out. <laughs> hey, chickens. Good morning. Let's go. We gotta move our rocks so the wind doesn't blow your cage door shut. I like to put their food on top of the compost. So there's some compost. There you go. Check on our mama rabbit. Hey girl, looks like you need some more hay. Water looks good. There's Auntie. <laughs> she looks like she needs more hay too. Odin, you decided to come help mommy? With the rabbits and the chickens? So we got our tote full of hay. Just gonna... <coughs> Grab some, shove it in my homemade hay feeder here. Here we go. Are you helping Odin? Rio doesn't eat hay. Bunnies love this stuff. They gorge on it, which what we kind of want to do for meat rabbits, especially healthy, just leftover so lettuce. We got this nice big tray here of arugula. We're going to give to our eight bunnies that are already grazing. Let's open them up. So, with our rabbit tractor, we move it every day. So, we haven't put a handle yet. So, I've just been grabbing right here and just slowly dragging it into a fresh patch. They're pretty good. Odin's trying to help back there. They know what's up. They're pretty good at staying out of the way. One more foot. Come on guys. There you go. Fresh grass. It's one of my favorite parts of the day. They just go crazy over this thing. Watch out guys. They just, will, all eight of them will come to this pile and just munch until they're so full. They love it. Fresh greens. So how much compost does this trailer hold? Yeah. I've never put more than, uh, I don't know, four cubic yards in it at one time. What about your truck? The truck probably holds a fat yard and a half. So we're probably around four or five cubic yards of compost. Cool. Um, how long did you think it took you to move it all? Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, an hour and a half, something like that. Daddy making X's? 
Is that where the blueberries are going to go, Odin? Blueberry. Good job. Yeah. Alright, so we're just going to cut the X. Up yay big. So we can get in there and dig a hole twice the size of the root ball. Are you helping fill the hole? Another non-glamorous farm chore that kind of needs to be done anytime you run your own business for anything is of course paperwork and filing. So I've been working this week on a lot of receipts that I haven't filed for about through two or three months. I have this many left so I'm almost done. Um, I just use numbers and I designed my own spreadsheets. So we just take the date of the receipt and then kind of what category it goes under, where we got it from, if there's a specific project associated with it, how much it was, and what line of credit we used or how we paid for it in general. Um, if a receipt has more than two categories, so as you see here we have a lot of categories to choose from, then I do split the receipt, but I try to, receipts can be vague, so I try to just keep it as simple as possible. But yeah, that's one thing that I'm trying to catch up on is paperwork and filing this week. <laughs> Yay! So this week on the farm, Monday we did our harvesting, Tuesday we did our packing, and Wednesday we did our deliveries. Yesterday we did cleanup and took care of any plants that needed fertilization or cover up or anything like that. And then Friday, which is today, Rand actually is going on a 14 hour road trip to go pick up our trailer that we're going to make an insulated trailer from. So I'm out here on the farm watering for him, which is not here. Odin's off playing somewhere, and we're taking care of business.
Well, looks like I got the pump on. Now I'm gonna tape some footage of me watering this whole farm. <laughs> What is that? What is it? You go check it out. So another tedious chore that you sometimes have to do is just driving to get equipment. I had this trailer custom built to our specs. So they normally come six feet tall. We've raised the roof uh, to seven feet because we're going to insulate it. And I wanted to be able to comfortably walk in. Um, Funny story, we got this from Max Cargo. Uh, they're awesome, I'm really happy with them. Um, it was the best deal I could find. And uh, they're down in Douglas, Georgia. So I thought they were in Douglasville, Georgia, which is maybe three hours away. Turns out they're more like six and a half hours away. And so the night before, uh, I kind of realized that. And, uh, and so yesterday was a long day of driving. You know, I pretty much left at five in the morning and got back probably around 10 o'clock, 10.30 at night. So, but you know, just kind of comes with the territory. Uh, you know, sometimes when you need something, you have to drive a bit for it. So Fran doing the weed whacking. all the big debris and all the loose lettuce stuck to the sides. Then we're going to go through and we're going to spray it down with bleach and then we're going to hose them off one more time to hose the bleach off. And then just to make sure we got everything we're going to take towels, wipe them dry, stack them and then store them. And is still out there weed whacking. I think you get the point. <laughs> I'm a little over halfway done, but I'm squishing my baby. And it's kind of hurting me, bending over so much. So I'm gonna have to take a break. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's kind of just our typical week on the farm. All the mundane farm chores that need to be done. And uh, I also want to give a big shout out to uh, all of our new subscribers, all the people that have been watching our channel and commenting, we really appreciate it. Some people have said some really nice things and uh, it really means a lot to us. I'd also like to just thank Jason Contreras at uh, Sow the Land. Uh, he came out and did like a farm tour and he got some really great footage. Check his channel out, it's fantastic. Um, and uh, you know, follow him on Instagram, all that good stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. If you guys like this video and you'd like to see more like it, leave us a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, visit us at greenshinefarms.com and follow us on Instagram at greenshinefarms. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.